Well, good afternoon. This apartment building has severe damage. You can see all of the debris around the parking lot and around this area here. It did get hit very hard. Now, according to people who live here, the storm rolled in fast and hit hard. Last night was it was unbelievable, but it's this morning. We got a good look at the unbelievable power of Mother Nature. No, nobody got hurt, thank God. No serious injuries anyway. One child around 11 years old ended up going to the hospital with some arm pain, but should be okay. The storm and the damage left behind, however, will be a pain for people who live here a lot longer than the storm lasted. I was uh, standing outside the uh, standing right by my window when all of a sudden uh, a lot of wind started picking up within a matter of seconds and immediately I thought that a tornado was coming because it was really that rapid. Grabbed a cushion, ran out to the hallway and as soon as I got out to the hallway it was done. It was a freight train came in, made a huge ruckus, a lot of noise and gone that quick. It did relatively little damage to the apartment building surrounding it. It was so loud that my ears started to hurt. These three women live across the street from the building that took the brunt of the storm. It was so loud, so scary. It was something I've never heard before. It seemed like the storm split, like mm -hmm. we were in the middle and it's like the storm went like this and then hit across the street. The city will have to determine if and when people can return home. We have no idea on this. A structural engineer is coming this afternoon. Uh, that was advised to us by the building owner. Uh, I would have to say it's going to be a uh, fairly long time before anybody's going to be able to move back into the building. The National Weather Service will determine what caused all this destruction, but Janet Scales, who lives next door, doesn't need to wait for their report. Because I never saw a tornado up so close like it was. So you like, actually saw a tornado? Well, I was right there. I, that bathroom window right there, you see that window? Mm -hmm. I was watching through there, and it was coming like this, right in the middle here, where the tree was and everything was like going around and around. Yeah. That had to be a little scary, too. It, it was, hon. Now, the fire department said about 60 people lived in this apartment building. The Red Cross, as well as the city, are helping the people who lived here find a place to stay if they don't have family and friends close by. We're live in Mundelein. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. All right. Thank you, Eric.